What's up, y'all? Just out here in nature, just chilling. They got this little stream or creek or whatever. I don't know, this little man-made thing here. I don't know what it is. I thought it was natural. But hey, look, um, they're at it again as usual, but we're just ignoring them. Because when you ignore them, it takes their power. Um, if you're a chosen one or divine person of God or if you got psychic abilities or if you feel you're special or you know what I'm saying um, this video is for you if not just you know kindly exit out off this Drew Tube page because you definitely won't get what the fuck we about to talk about today um yeah that's a nice little country road back here I mean little country uh trail and I'm taking it I'm just chilling enjoying my day um these uh people are sick <laughs> these people are sick but you can't let it get to you in the beginning i used to let it bother me i used to let it get to me but you can't change people but the one beautiful thing about people fucking with you all the goddamn time and trying to get your attention and just doing little petty stuff copying you you know little stuff that just uh just egg you out and make your hair stand up just like yo that's creepy why are you watching me so close um, it used to bother the hell out of me, but now I don't give a fuck because I'm so involved in my own affairs and I'm, I've meant to, I'm, I'm so in tune with me, with nature, with God, with the universe that I'm literally projecting myself into the future, into future events to where I'm not even going to be around these people or I'm not even going to have to see people that act like that due to the choices and the actions I take throughout my day because I'm working towards not even having to see motherfuckers. I'm talking about Rick Ross plot of land. I'm talking about, you see all this right here? I'm going to walk out my door one day and just see a whole bunch of land and not ever, and not, I'm like, hello, hello. Hello. That's how far my neighbor going to be away from me. Hello. 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 Ain't going to be nobody on the property but me and a bunch of women and a few loyal, uh, dedicated family members with their own little plots of land. You know what I'm saying? The army. But um, and but they're going to have, they, like I said, their own little plot of land. You feel me? Because that is family. You know how family gets sometimes. Shout out to my family. I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Um, but look, man. Like, yo, when you're a star seed, when you're a chosen one, when you're a divine being, an infinite being, a spiritual being, people could see that when you just think you're minding your business and just chilling, people could see that you have a connection. People could see there's something going on, something different about you that they don't possess, that they don't have. So it's like people are constantly going to be in competition with you. I just had some people literally, and I know this is what they did because my intuition is strong as fuck. And this is why people don't fuck with me like that because I could pinpoint what a motherfucker is doing from a mile away. Um, these people, these, these, uh, shout out to my, uh, Chinese people or whatever. But, um, you know, these, they, 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 they fucking Chinese, goddammit. And I'm tired of all people being soft and all this shit. You can't say Chinese because Chinese people. You can't say African because African people. You can't say white because white people. Fuck that shit, man. If you're white, you're white. If you're purple, you're purple. You can't change that shit unless you go get some skin coloration or discoloration or whatever the hell going on, man. Stop being so damn sensitive. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody. This is a We Love Everybody channel. But when everybody fuck up, we're going to talk about everybody fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Even I fuck up sometimes. I'm not, uh, I'm not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not, um, special enough to not make mistakes. I couldn't think of the word. But I'm not special enough to where I don't make mistakes. But anyway, like, I had these group of people. It just happened to be Chinese, whatever. They could have been white, black, pink, whatever. These group of people, they literally moved across. They literally moved from one part of the apartment to the part of the apartment where I'm at across from me just so they can watch what I do <clears throat> like people want to watch people want to watch you to see what you buy so they can go buy the same things people want to see what you eat they'll go eat there you you might go to the store every day before work you're, you're gonna have people leave your place where you live at if you live in one of those places hopefully you don't hopefully God blesses you with so much space feel like you in outer space but um these people or whatever like they'll they'll time me when I get back from the store because they're watching me because it's just a straight path to the store it's like maybe like a half mile up the road five ten minutes up the road 
and they can see me from their window go to the store. Like these people watch me like TV, so they know when I go to the store. They know when I come back from the store. They know what I went to buy today. They know what I'm wearing today. They go buy the same shirt. Like this dude literally sat in the laundry room, at, 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 like right across from me, and just starts looking at his phone. Like, bro, come on, man. That's weird as shit. Out of all the places you could have sat, you gonna sit near? You gonna sit and look at your phone right near me? You could have sat over there, like across the room. You could have sat uh, anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? But he had to sit near me so he could watch me fold my clothes, see how I fold my clothes. I don't know what the fuck. I know it's not that deep. He probably see how I fold my clothes, but sometimes it is, y'all. Just, but I know he was watching me just so he could see what the what I have, so he can go buy the same thing. One day I was wearing gray, a gray shirt. God forbid my underwear might have been showing because I got gray drawers on. Not that y'all need to know, not that y'all care, but motherfuckers come, like, God forbid my shirt match my drawers. Motherfuckers will go inside, put on that whole entire color. They be wearing gray shoes, gray hat, gray socks, gray underwear, gray backpack, gray everything. Just because I got on one gray article. He wore gray for two days, must be his favorite color. I'm gonna wear that gray, I'm gonna wear that, I'm gonna wear a whole gray bodysuit. I'm going to have so much gray on, you're not even going to be able to see me. All you're going to see is gray when you look at me. Like, these people are so weird. But it used to bother me. But now I just ignore them. And it takes all their power away. Because they think they own to something by trying to compete with you. They think they own to something by following you. They think they own to something by watching you. Like, that's a lot of fucking work, man. Copying somebody. Watching somebody. Um... What else did I say? Copying somebody, watching somebody, stalking somebody. That's a lot of work, man. Like to 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 be watching somebody so much that you want to walk outside before they do because you hear them leaving their apartment. That's why I don't like living next to these people. I'll go to walk out my apartment. Motherfucker will hear me inside their room, and I gotta wait an extra five minutes just to let the energy clear off because there's so much hate coming from that person. I can feel it before I even walk out the door. So it's like. <laughs> these people these people are just the stuff that they do is just crazy and it's, as I start to separate myself from their action and get, not give them a reaction it's just it's, it's so much better because I don't have to worry about them bothering me I don't have to worry about them getting on my nerves I don't have to worry about them just being a whole bother to my whole entire style because I'm not bothering them and they see that I'm not bothering them they see but the thing is they, I guess they're acting like that because I'm not speaking to them, but the whole thing is from this point on, because I used to not notice what the fuck was going on. People would just walk up to me and I would just now look back. I was the only person speaking to people and saying hi to people. And I'm not living my life like that no more. Motherfucker want to walk in front of you and stand like this, like they're all important, like almighty God or something while you walking past them. And they they literally, depending on how fly you are, if you fly like me, they literally expect you to speak to them and say hi to them. And, like, why would I want to speak to you and say hi to you if you're not going to speak back? Like, it's a power trip. These motherfuckers want to feel like they're more important than you. Ain't nobody more important than nobody. You get what I'm saying? I'm not important than anybody. Ain't nobody more important than me. So it's like, what the fuck? I mean, unless you want to look at it on, like, some tribal shit where, like, people got certain positions in the community, that's cool. But, like, as far as, like, life and shit like that, motherfucker ain't more important than you just because they there or just because of this or just because of that or whatever. Motherfucker ain't more important than you. So I don't portray myself to be more important than nobody else. But the thing is, I come off like that. I guess I come off bougie. But the thing is, just because you just because you see me and you put yourself in front of me doesn't mean I'm going to speak to you. I don't have to. Where like what what part of the game is that? I'm not I'm not like I I'm not exerting no more energy for these narcs out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about these these goddamn people. I'm focused on my goals. I'm focused on my dreams. I'm focused on doing what I want to do with my life so when I wake up, I don't have to see no more of those people ever again because they're annoying and they get on your nerves and that's all they want to do because they don't have no intelligent lifestyle. They don't read books. They don't watch motivational videos and they're not working on themselves. They're so busy and focused and worried about you that, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they're so into what you're doing because they have no life and that's how you know they have no life because the actions that they do the deeds that they the, the deeds they do the actions they take you could tell that they have to be like yo this person got a lot of extra time for me like how are these people able to make so much time for us and still take care of what the fuck they take care of? that's why we be light years ahead of them you look back and be like damn that motherfucker's still doing the same fucking shit because that's all they know that's all they want to do 
they don't know that they could tap in and be great. All they know that they, uh, all they know is that they could use their actions to hate. They don't tap in to be great. They just use their action to hate. And it's like, you can hate all you want, but they're not hating on us. They hating on God. Shout out to my big bro, Trend Genius. I haven't talked to him yet. I'm going to. Just get my finances and my funds in order. But you know what I'm saying? I watch that dude a lot, and he put me on to a lot of game. And I want to be able to help people like he helps people. Because watching his videos, put it was like a mental massage. Pause. Watching his videos, just it, it takes my stress away. One, I know I'm not alone. Two, it helps me figure out how to deal with these types of situations and these people. And, and three, it's just, it's, I already said I'm not alone. It helps me deal with it. And three, just gives me a, 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 the right perspective and the right, I don't know if this is the same shit or whatever, but these are just the things I'm listening. It helps me deal with these people. It helps me know I'm not alone. It helps me with the, gives me the right perspective on life and stuff like that. It's just his videos put me on a lot of game as far as like weird ass motherfuckers are getting weird, how weird they'll get when you're on your way to become successful. Like I swear to God, I'm telling you, these people literally moved across from me just so they could watch me. I walk, like they're, they're trying to make me bug out because I'm better than them. And I don't speak to them because all they do is put, uh, they want me to speak to them, but they don't want to speak to me. I'll walk outside. They'll be staring at me and stalking me and watching me for like 10, 20 minutes already. And then they'll step out and put themselves in the area where I'm at. And it's like, they just because they do that, they expect me to speak to them. I'm not speaking to you just because you do that. I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to keep it moving. and I'm going to keep my energy. I'm going to keep my peace. And I'm going to stay to myself. Because that's asshole activity. That's narcissistic activity. That's um, that's motherfuckers who, who think they better than you. And that's cool. But the thing is, you got to keep that to yourself. And the beautiful thing about that is also is that I could choose to separate myself from that. Just because we live together, that don't mean shit. Just because we live, just because we live in the same little community don't mean I got to speak to you. I'm paying rent to live here. I don't have to speak to you. Especially if you're acting like a fucking weirdo. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm, I, I, I say hi to people. I speak to people. But once people trip over the fact that I'm handsome or I look good or I'm whatever the fuck they see in me and they don't, they upset because they don't feel they have it. You got to keep that shit to yourself because once I'm, like, I, I had somebody try to bump into me at the store today. I'm just walking out of my own business. This nigga literally is walking towards me and I almost got to run his ass over. I said to him, I said, bro, I run people over for that. And the thing is, when I spoke to him, he put himself in front of me. So I couldn't miss him. This nigga damn near bumped into me. But if we shoulder bumped, I'd have sent him in the, in the next in the next year. But the whole thing is, when I spoke to him, he didn't even say nothing. I'm like, yo, bro, people get run over for that. He didn't even say nothing. So it's like they want to put you in a mood and then just walk off. They want to be like, oh, I fucked up your day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's looking at me now. He's giving attention to me now. Mm-hmm. Like these people are like children. You're 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 like the dad, and 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 this re- you're like the dad, and they're like kids because it's like they they they'll do whatever for attention, and then once they get that attention, they just keep going. So it's like a lot, and that was a fucking man. So a lot of men out here are rolling around with this feminine energy, and then you got females trying to tap into this masculine energy because everybody's in competition with each other. I got females in competition with me. I got dudes in competition with me. Like these people who have targeted me out. They singled me out. They see that I'm who I am. They know I'm the chosen one or whatever the fuck. I don't even really like saying that. They know I'm the one or whatever the fuck you want to call it or whatever the fuck. And because I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't see myself no different than nobody else. But the way motherfuckers been reacting to me lately and like the more I tap into this and the more I realize that this is who I am and I, and that I am different from other people, the weirder this shit is getting. Like this, this shit is low key. Like I'm fucking little baby or Michael Jackson or something and motherfuckers just ain't letting me know. Because people don't even look at me when I come around on some high hater may no shit. Motherfuckers do not look at me when I come around. I'm the invisible man, bro. I, 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 like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never read that book as a kid, but I heard of the title and I'm like, damn, that book, that, that sounds like something I could relate to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit sounds like something I could relate to. Because from, from the time that I was a child up until now, I've always felt invisible. Motherfuckers have always made me feel invisible like I'm not here, like I don't exist. But it's like the thing is, when, when when you got a life like that, people are watching you so hard that they're embarrassed to even see you. They can't look at you because either you got so much light or you got so much positivity or you got so much God in you that they just can't even take it. They can't look you in the eyes. They can't stare at you. None of that. It's just, it's just I mean, 
<laughs> That's why they gotta walk past you and go and stare at you with like that weird ass stare they give you like this every time they walk. Like you ever notice that when you just walk past people and you're minding your business, they give you this look to like that's the that's the demon look or whatever the fuck you want to call it, like that's the fake ass motherfucker look or the 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 that's the uh, the hate look or whatever. Like I cause you can see the hate in the motherfuckers eyes, man. Shout out to Sosa man, I see the hate in their eyes. But yo man, I'm about to take care of some stuff. I think we about to talk for a little bit longer. I'm just out here. It's a beautiful afternoon, man. I just came out here. Like, I just made this. I was inspired to make this video because when I walked out my video, everybody, do, 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 Drew's outside. We got to get Drew to see us. Drew, 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 Drew. Every, like, I, I hate, I've never been one to talk about myself in the first person, but I, I always come into contact with a lot of people that do. Every time I come into contact with somebody, and it's just sometimes, well, not every time, but mo a lot of times, if I come in contact with somebody, it's all they're always showing me what they got going on, putting their accomplishments in my face, this, that, and the third. But recently, I just met somebody. They're just, like, putting themselves in the first person. Me, 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 me. It's all about me. Me, me, me. Like, that's cool and all. I ain't one of those types of people, but people damn near act like that when I'm motherfucking coming around because I don't fucking get it. Like, people are either trying to make me jealous of them and hate on them because either that's how they feel about me and they want me to feel that way about them or they just want some attention or whatever it is but you know what i'm saying they're gonna have to get that shit elsewhere because i'm only one person and i'm gonna ignore the fuck out you if you don't speak to me and like a respectable human being and a normal person like motherfuckers just want me the whole time but hello 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 like giving up all my energy and shit like nah bitch i ain't doing that shit fuck you go eat a dick motherfucker you know what i'm saying we ain't we ain't rocking like that over here so <laughs> you know what i'm saying ah, they shit they gonna have to find something else to do because, like I said, I'm ignore the shit out of them. I'm gonna stay positive. I'm gonna keep doing me. I'm gonna keep being happy. And these motherfuckers, like, that's the thing. I'm a happy person. I stay to myself. I don't bother anybody. And people see that and they wanna attack it. But the whole thing is, they acting like they can't get their ass whooped. But, like, I, I guess, like, if I, like, when, when you, those are the type of people that if you fuck them up, they'll call the police. Oh, police, help, help, help. I was only bothering this person until he slapped me in the face, but he actually slapped me in the face. Like, that's what these people, that's where you get those people, like, you hit me. You actually hit, like, you ever heard somebody say that? Those are those.